Hi, and thank you for joining me once again. Today we will be unboxing a vintage product. The Sony Discman slash CD-ROM drive. The product number being PRD150. This was released in 1995, so it's pretty old. So let's take a look at that. And these are some of the stuff included free C drum software inside this box, okay? All right. And these are the contents. Okay, so let's just unbox it and see if all of them are there or uh, if it's missing. And by the way, this is so old, this supports DOS and Windows compatible computer with 386 SX processor. Well, it's very old. Okay, and operating system minimum MS-DOS 3.1 or Windows 3.5. I mean 3.1, sorry. Yeah. Made in Japan, something that you don't see these days. There's nothing else in here. Like I have here with me the the operating manual. Okay. That is really old stuff. So Nineteen ninety four, see. Okay. Have an installation disk. Okay. And this is card soft and card whiz. I'm not sure what the software is all about. Warranty card. This is the uh, interface card. PC MCIA. So basically, uh, you need to connect this one into your laptop or your computer, which has a PCMCI slot. Okay, and hook up your CD, I mean, Discman to the other end. And that's how it functions as a CD-ROM drive. In today's day and age, nobody uses a CD-ROM drive or a Blu-ray, Blu-ray Blu -ray reader or writer for that matter. But back in 1995, that was the, the biggest thing, you know. Uh, but I believe it is still coming back because as you can see, digital stores are not reliable. Uh, PlayStation 3, uh, P PS Vita, uh, PSP stores are all going to shut down. So any digital content that you, if you have not downloaded before, you've got to do it fast. Otherwise, you're going to lose all of that, all of that uh, purchases. So digital, um, you know, digital information 
content cannot be trusted because it can be taken down anytime. Whereas if you have a physical media like a CD, it always work. It's always with you. Okay, so now. Okay, so this is the uh, connector. And uh, these are the original headphones. The form is gone. It's worn out, you know, over a period of time. Okay, th but these are the original headsets. Okay. And this is the adapter. This is a 120 volt only, so I need to use a step up. I cannot use it directly. These are the CDs. This is the, the star of the show. Okay, this runs off of power, the adapter, as well as we can use a battery. Okay, so now to check whether this unit still works as a disc man, we're going to try the audio capability. Okay, so in order to do that, I am going to open the tray, put in an, put in an audio disc. Okay, close it. Now, this, I'm going to connect it to my speaker, the Nokia speaker, via the line out. Over here, as you can see, line out. Okay, and connect it to the. Okay. Right. Shows a total of fifteen tracks. Okay. This is the first track. Track number two. So it still functions, it still works good. Uh, for a 1995 product in 2021, which is 26 years later, still works like a charm. Okay, so that is what Sony was always known for, you know, build quality and um, uh, excellent engineering. Right, so uh, the other portion, the CD-ROM portion, it's going to be a little difficult because um, one, it's difficult to get any device, any laptop or a computer with PCMCI slot available. However, I do have one. It's a Dell Latitude D630. Um, the other problem is the drivers that were supplied is only for Windows 3.1 and MS-DOS. Okay. Um, I don't have a computer. Even my Dell D630, it's upgraded to Windows 7. Um, when you call it an upgrade, yeah, compared to Windows 10, it's still a downgrade. But nevertheless, um, I don't have a computer with uh, MS-DOS or Windows 3.0 with PCMCI slot. So that's gonna be a little tough. But um, at least I will show you the connection process. Okay, how it looks like, how it's supposed to be. So you can have, have a rough idea, okay? So let me just take this out. Uh, let me take out the audio disc. Okay. Take this off. Switch it off. Okay. I am 
I'm going to keep it this way. And I will bring my Dell laptop. All right, now to check the CD-ROM aspect, uh, this is what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to use the the PCMCI card interface card that came with the Sony. Okay, so now as you can see, this part is where you connect the cable, and this part goes into the slot. Okay. And that is over here on this Dell computer. It is over here. Here we take out the press this button. It's like a safety cover. And um, you slide it in here. Okay, and after you slid it in here, you need to use the cable that came along with the device. Okay, if you can, if I can just focus, you see these grooves on top. So this one goes on top. Okay, so. You Fix it in here. Okay, and the other portion goes to the back of the goes over here. And uh, yeah, this is the way. Okay, and that is how you have it connected. As of this moment, I see no activity on the on the computer. I'm just going to focus now on the PC. Okay, so I don't see any activity happening. I've got it connected, but uh, no response. So, in conclusion, the CD-ROM aspect of the uh, unit does not work. Not because it's damaged, just that it's not compatible with the the computer that I have, the laptop that I have. The one that I tried was the Dell D630, okay, which has a PCMCI slot, but apparently it's not being recognized, just not working. So, not disappointed because I expected it. Um, I was more, I was very concerned about the disc man, whether the audio, audio as an audio player was working. So that is working beautifully. So for a 26 year old product, okay, it is still working like a charm. So I'm very really happy with this and hope you enjoyed uh, this video and if you do, you know what to do. Right, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and you have yourself a wonderful day. Bye for now.